What's up everybody, this is Olivello9 here and I have a, a new iOS app review for you guys and it's GarageBand. Um, if you guys have been keeping up on my channel, the last music app review, music type app review I did was FL Studio and um, this right here is iOS devices only and I'm going to show you guys just basically, it's just going to be basically a review because I've been using it for quite some time now. So when you first start it up, if you want to start a new song, you're going to press this add button at the top right here. And you'll be able to say a new song. Alright, so once you get here, you have a wide variety of, um, I can't say wide variety because you are very limited compared to, um, FL Studio. So you have your keyboard, you get sm uh, smart guitars, your uh, smart keyboard, smart bass, um, smart strings, violin, that is, um, smart drums your sampler which records um sounds if you make a re if you make a sound like if you want something like like something like that you, you would record that or it would just record a type of sound and you could play it back and edit it and stuff uh you have your audio record recorder um this also changes your voice and stuff i guess and uh, you have a guitar amp and you have drums and again keyboard so if we go under keyboard here, what you have is you have your basic keyboard layout. If you click this double looking keyboard here, you get to um switch to double basically a double style keyboard. Click it again, take it back. You can also like widen the keys, make the keys smaller, and change. You could change your velocity and stuff if you want. Want to really um, mess with that? There. I'm gonna keep it at the middle because it's about normal size. If you click the grand piano here, the um, piano um, picture, you have a lot more um, options under keyboards. Basically, which type of keyboard that you want to select you have the classical grand the electric piano um whirly and just these just all these 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 are just all different kinds of sounds and instruments basically if you have uh, different tabs under classic bass your leads um you have pads and you have fx so if we go under leads and say uh 50 sci-fi or something and So yeah, you guys you guys can um tell what that is. So basically different instruments under the keyboard section. And right here is your pitch. So let's go back to something more regular. Say grand piano. And say I hit a button. Oh, grand piano doesn't have that. So go back under leaves, we'll just go under light cycle. The volume down a little bit. And you move with the pitch. Your mod. And right here you get to uh, select the pitch. Is that negative four? It's regular. Plus one. Okay, and um. Right here is your uh, filters and your mix. Also select the scale to whatever major, major metanic, and such. Excuse me. So um, at the top here, you basically have your your My Songs, which takes you back to all your songs and saves your original, your position right now. Your instruments, which takes you back to your, the instruments page and lets you select a different instrument. Undo if you un. Um, if you want to undo anything, um, this tab here will take you back, takes you to the editing page. Your replay, play, and record button. Your volume. Um, your um, loops would usually be here. If you go under your editing section, your uh, track settings, your general settings, and your help. So let's go under here. 
Oh, actually, let's record something real quick. Okay, so let's go back to regular piano. Just go to classical grand. I'm just going to record something. So. So just record something. I don't want my metronome because I don't like that, but I will keep my count in. So press record. Something simple. Something really simple. So we click that back to the editing page. Basically right from right here, do all your editing. Click it, you could trim to where exactly you hold it down, it zooms it in. Or should. Hold on. Wait for it. There it goes. Zoom it in and trim. Um, if you click on it, yeah, you can uh, cut, copy, paste, delete, loop, which loops it, um, split it, or edit. So if you click on edit, this takes you to a even key by key, basically, um, de detailed description where you can edit even more. And um, you can still... Um, Play them and move them around. Basically, go down or up. And from here, you could basically, uh, if you double click, you want to select all of them and change the velocity or just delete it. Change the velocity and we'll change all of the velocity about right there. And um, yeah, you could do that. Press done. If you want your song to be a little longer, all you have to do is. Click this add button right there. And from section, click that and we'll change it to about 50. Respect. I'll take you to that. And it'll make your song longer. So now, if you want to add another instrument here, press the add button right here. And now we could go through, we could add anything any of these basically and um... for this video we just pick drums and again same thing goes you just if you click that you get you have a full scale of drums any you have from vintage live rock classical drum machine house drum machine and hip-hop and we're gonna we're gonna just go to hip-hop and we're just gonna make something so basically here we go click this we're gonna loop this. Loop. It's gonna loop. It's gonna keep on playing back. Um, if you drag this out, this little tab, you could basically edit the volume, mute, unmute. So we're gonna put this volume down a little bit more. Go back. Oops. Go back to the drum machine. And there. So now we can. So we play it. Alright, so we're just going to do something really, really simple. Sorry for that. Um, we're just going to go. No. We'll go. And it does do this sometimes, some time to time, optimized performance. Um, the biggest uh, failure I had with this was when um, it, one of my songs it only played certain amounts of it and like, the rest of it was muted and basically some only some some of the sections like the first part first six seconds of play and the rest of it rest of it will be just silent so that's the only f con that I see, seen with this it only happened one time with my one of my songs so hopefully it doesn't happen again I don't know if they fixed it they probably fixed it into um once I updated it which I, I didn't have a problem with that after that so let's do something like
Something very simple, just whatever. Play it. So basically right here what what you can do is it does sound a little off. So what you can do is go under settings and you could change the tempo. It's at one ten right now. We could slow it down or make it go really fast. For the sake of this video, just make it fun. We'll make it take it to one sixty. And it's gonna optimize performance anytime you do something major. So just know that. So yeah, just something really whack right now. So to me, it's just this. This is just a review. I'm not really trying. I'm just giving you guys some examples of stuff. So um, next thing I want to sh I want to show you guys is basically if you go under my songs or if you click my songs, you'll save it. Go back here. And what you can basically do is press edit. Click on this video. I mean, click on whatever song. If you click on the share button, you can share it to Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, iMovie, iTunes, or Mail. Or you could duplicate it by pressing that. This button right here. Or you could delete it. Alright guys, so I mostly showed you guys how to do okay. almost everything on here. And um, now I'm going to show you guys uh, the rest of the instruments here. So um, go back to a new song here. And I'll show you guys the keyboard, the drums. So I'm gonna take you guys to the smart guitar here, and show you guys what's basically the aspect or like how it looks like um, for you, for everybody that's um, trying to buy it or want to still buy it. So and it's basically the setup is this way right here. It's loud right there. So you have yeah. You can play your chords here. I'm not a big guitar player, so um, this isn't my strongest subject here. So you can also um, it's um, you can also put it on autoplay, as, uh, if you can see right there. If I'll focus in, you can put it on autoplay, which basically you click on one of the um, notes here. No auto play and there's a uh, different um options for that how fast you want it or so okay I'm gonna set that off and then there's a chords and notes button you can see right here click on notes to take you all the way to the top of the guitar showing you all the notes and you can adjust it like that so it gives you all the options and um, everything you basically need almost to play comfortably. If you click on the acoustic or the guitar here. You also have um, the classic clean, the hard rock, and root, roots uh, rock um, guitars. Okay, so let's get out of here. Go back to instruments. Show you guys the next thing, which is a smart keyboard. Smart keyboard. All the smart um, instruments are basically they they always have this type of um, layout here. Honestly, um, I I prefer the regular keyboard over this. I don't use this um, use this option much, but it's still here. Again, same thing for the autoplay. Gives you that. If you click on Grand Piano, for um, the smart smart guitars, um, smart keyboard. I'm sorry. You only have your classical rock organ, electric piano, smooth clad, your solar sailor, polarized, your machine language, and your helix. Click on helix. So yeah. Now let's go back to instruments. Let's go back to the next thing here. We have smart bass, which is basically same thing as same options. 
go back to quartz notes same thing um for um the smart strings so you have uh, Liverpool, you have Muted, Picked, Upright. You also have Exoplanet, Light Cycle, Retro, retro bass, bass, and Sequence Bass. And if we click on, say, Exoplanet, this will take us to a whole different layout. Because you do have Exoplanet on the, um, on the uh, keyboard also. So that's another thing. So all the smart guitars, smart strings, they're all going to have the same layout. And this is uh, the smart um, strings, which is violins, basically. And you have... So that's why they give you the chords here. And you have uh, the first violins, the second violins, viol viol violas, the celio or seios, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and the ba basses. Um, you, you have your autoplay still. You could ch change the, um, you could change from cinematic to modern, pop, or romantic. So it gives you some variety. but not as much as um, FL Studio would. And then this is another cool option here, which is Smart Drums. Um, if you want to make a beat on the If you don't want to actually um, play the drums or such, they do have um, um, machine, uh, I guess we could say machine animated drums here, um, which already play the sounds. And they you could uh, take the sounds of whatever um, drum set that you pick you put it on this little tablet looking um this platform here and it takes it from simple and it says drag drums here and it takes them simple to quiet simple to uh, complex and quiet to loud so say we take the kick here and we put it right to to simple but it's going to be very loud now if we move it down now if we move it down to simple but quiet, it's going to be the same thing but it's going to be very quiet. Put in the middle, put in the middle, it's going to be a little bit more complex and, a, and, about, and about just medium and um, volume. So let's put this right here. Okay, then we'll add the claps. Put the claps right here. Take the hi hats, put them right here. Put the symbols down here. Take that out. And it gives you press reset, and, and also you can just um, press this dice button here, and it set up some random stuff. So that's a really cool option. Um, something that FL Studio does not have. Go back to instruments. Um, guitar amp is basically hooking up a your guitar um, up to the iPad or your iOS device, and then. Editing it that way, editing that way, or playing that way. Um, but next thing I want to show is um, the voice audio recorder. And now I'm gonna record something, and then we're gonna be able to edit. So let me record. This is Ali Velo Nine. Okay, and now if we go back here and we can play it. This is Ali Velo Nine. Come down a little bit, and we so you have uh, different options there. You have change your voice to uh, if you're in a small room, large room, dreamy, telephone, dry, 
blowhorn chipmunk robot monster and you have some different uh, voice changes here so I'm gonna loop this so we don't have to um so we could um show you all the effects here so we're gonna solve a small room this is Ali Velo 9 large room this is Ali Velo 9 dreamy this is Ali Velo 9 Telephone. This is Ali Velo 9. Try. This is Ali Velo 9. Blowhorn. This is Ali Velo 9. This Chipmunk. This is Ali Velo 9. Robot. This is Ali Velo Monster. <laughs> Alright, so now everyone that you click, they're going to have a pitch and a gain. So if I click the telephone, go back. Are they going to have a little editing? Um, modules here. This for telephone, it's high frequency, high mid frequency, and you compress it. So you can still edit your voice here. And you have all the options if you go back into ed the editing stage, click on it, go into for voice. You don't really, you know, you can't really edit. Go back and edit each um, little note. As I said before, you guys can't really go back and edit every single um, note on the voice recording. So now going back here in the instruments, um, let's take a look at the sampler. I haven't really used this much, but there we go. Well, I'm just going to start it, start something right here. So we're going to start, it's going to say new sample, my samples. And you have your input level, which is your recording, um, your mic on the iPad. And so I'm, in, I'm just going to snap like that. Start. Stop the volume up here. Basically, it's playing back everything, every note is playing back what I did. You hold it out, it'll play out everything. You could just trim it to just one note or one. You tune it. Fine tune, put all the way up, say. You could trim, go back to trim. And you could. Same thing as a piano, you could edit the pitch and mod. And guys, that's about it. This has been my review of GarageBand, an awesome app. I recommend you guys go pick it up if you're into um, making music on the go or such, or just having fun. Um, this is a very great app. I've been um, using it. The only flaws and cons I've seen is um, some crashes, but I, I believe with the updates that are coming out, um, this will improve. More instruments should be added as um, more updates um, GarageBand receives. And I, I recommend you guys go. So just remember to up. comment, like, subscribe. Ali Bello and I. Um, check them out the videos and more videos coming out soon. Uh, just got out for break, so more videos coming out soon. So stay tuned. And yeah, follow me on Twitter. Peace.